right, I'm going to start with you again, Coach. Uh, it was a big win today. It was hard fought. I felt like in the second half, you guys definitely had uh, the advantage, more shots on goal, you kept the pressure on them for uh, you know majority of the half, and then uh, Nathan and Drew hooked up in uh, in overtime early, and uh, you guys were able to come away with the victory. Just elaborate on it a little bit. Well, I think the first half, uh, we're, we're a little tentative going forward in our off-the-ball running was average at best, and I challenged the guys at halftime that, uh, you know, you can lose if you don't want to run. Uh, to, run to, to win games of soccer, you have to outrun your opponent most times, and uh, I thought that the response was really good, and, and uh, the statistics showed that number of shots, and our shots were on frame. We almost had one right away. Alvarez got in behind Brunsma, put Alvarez on a pretty good right-to-left touch and, and a, a kind of a push through, but... Uh, uh, the first half, uh, UMKC was uh, was steady and had the ball a little bit, but uh, good response from our team in the second half and a great goal to win. Absolutely, Nathan and Drew, this is for you two. Uh, you got some you got some room on the edge there. We're able to get past the defense, and it seems like you were able to do that a lot in the last couple matchups you had with them. They just couldn't, uh, you know, handle your speed, and you were able to find Nathan and uh, you know just kind of walk me walk me through that that series. Uh, I think uh, Coach just tells me to stay wide and Bruins to stay in the middle. And uh, McLean played a great ball to me on, on a run. And I saw Bruins in there and just try to put it up for him. But most of the time he can out jump people and win headers. So. Absolutely. Nathan, away. your size plays an advantage again. You, you know, you're a tall, big body inside, and you put another good head on the ball again today and found the back of the net. Yeah, it was a good cross, just right over the defender so he couldn't get it. And I mean, I was open enough and uh, put it in that corner. So it's a good goal, good That's pass. Good. Charlie, this is for you. Uh, you and the defense stepped up, played big again, got another shutout today. Uh, you guys have been real good, especially late in the year. Just you know, elaborate you guys and, and how you're coming together and, and, and playing so well right now. Yeah, I think uh, now that we have five guys who have been playing consistently and we're learning each other's tendencies and stuff, it helps. Uh, it, uh, we didn't have Hillary last game against UMKC, and today he and I communicated really well and just uh, just shows when we get the shutout. And we know that the offense can take care of the job, so it was a good team win. Absolutely. You know, Coach, you got a big, big game coming up. All four of you guys got a big game coming up on uh, on Sunday. So how, what are you going to do to get away with the victory and, you know, a Summit League Conference Championship uh, or Tournament Championship uh, against Oakland, a good Oakland team? The first thing is uh, probably matching their energy. They're a high-energy team. Uh, they're really confident. They score goals. They get one. They seem to get another one right away. And... Uh, uh, we, we know how they play a little bit, having played them early in the season. Uh, uh, we're a different team now, but it's going to really take uh, uh, consistent effort, focus, not fouling, uh, standing people up. Uh, our back line's got to communicate, and uh, our energy level has to match and then overcome theirs, and hopefully in the second half we can uh, take, take it to them again. Yeah, uh, Nathan, I know we touched on this a couple weeks ago. I want you to elaborate. On uh, what does it mean for your final home game of your collegiate career to be playing this for the conference championship on your home field? I mean, it's huge. I couldn't have uh, asked for it any different way. You know, to have an opportunity to go out on top in the conference on our home field, it can't get much better than that. So that would be a dream situation if we won. Uh, Coach, one last question uh, for you. Since early October, you guys have gone four, one, and three. You've been unbeaten in your last five. What do you think has been the catalyst? The, uh, what do you think has been the turnaround? has been the main thing for your turnaround this season? Uh, I don't think there's it's any one thing, but chemistry is definitely a factor. And it was, it was really interesting. Uh, after a frustrating loss, uh, I kind of opened up the discussion after the game. And uh, uh, one of the guys said, we have no chemistry. And I think I about tore someone's head off. And I said, well, throw your phones away and maybe talk to each other <coughs> once in a while and get to know each other. And, I probably overreacted, but I think chemistry is a key uh, in any success. You know, when you have when it's a team sport, and uh, you know the chemistry. Some it starts in partnerships. Drew and and Nate have a good, pretty good partnership. There's some chemistry there. I think uh, Hillary and Charlie have developed it with Winkleman. Their little triangle, defensive triangle. Uh, our midfield, Apple and, and uh, Alvarez, Ruben, uh, Oscar coming off the bench. Those guys are there's some chemistry. They're passing the ball quickly. And uh, chemistry leads to confidence, and confidence breeds success. And, and so it's, it, you know, early we didn't have it. 
and uh, probably a, a big factor might have been uh, coming from behind at Ty Bradley, and that gave us a little belief that, hey, maybe we are uh, in position to win some games, maybe we can do it. So uh, my hat's off to the guys, especially uh, our senior group for being good leaders for, for Charlie and uh, Apple for uh, maintaining the belief that we could win. And uh, hopefully that uh, belief is still there for Sunday and, and we can get one more. Can I say something? Uh, I just want to, like, we just want to thank the fans for coming out today. <clears throat> like in my three years of being here at Western, that's the best turnout we ever had at a game. Uh, everyone was loud, just feeds through the team, and just thanks for coming. Hopefully, we'll see you Sunday. I was going to you know, ask you guys if you fed off that, especially oh, yeah. in the second half. Everybody was banging over there, hooping and hollering, yelling stuff at you know, Kansas City. You know, nothing out of control, but you know, that's got to get you guys fired knowing they're behind you and you know, chanting and singing and all right. that stuff. That's how a soccer crowd is supposed to be, and it just, it just felt good to have them behind us. I mean, we're all out there trying to make plays that are going to make them hoot and holler even more. So. It just, it, it was nice today.